Antisense Therapeutics is an Australian publicly listed biotechnology company developing and commercializing pharmaceuticals for large unmet needs in rare diseases. And with me is Mark Diamond, the CEO, to talk more about the company and, and your overall strategy, Mark. So let's just start with that. What is the strategy of Antisense Therapeutics? Firstly, thank you, Jane. It's a pleasure to, to be on your show this morning. And I guess, uh, I simply put, the, the company's uh, strategy is really around uh, advancing the development of these antisense drugs that we have in our pipeline. And where we're looking to uh, move them successfully through clinical development and ultimately through commercialisation. And we we are contemplating, you know, doing that either ourselves or with, you know, larger pharmaceutical companies. So we're laser focused, as it were, in looking at, you know, as I said, advancing the products in our pipeline towards the market. And one thing you were explaining was that you are working on a treatment for Duchenne's disease. So explain what is Duchenne's disease and then tell me about your treatment. Sure. So uh, Duchenne's muscular dystrophy is a devastating muscle wasting disease of children. So it's a, a genetically acquired condition. It affects boys only because it is a mutation of a, uh, of a gene on the X chromosome that leads to this problem with the boys over time, progressively losing the muscle strength and function in their body. So unfortunately it's a hundred percent a fatal disease and and so the goal really of therapy is to try and slow that steady insidious you know loss of muscle strength and function in, in these boys uh, with this condition Jane and, and unfortunately you know, the treatment options for those boys are very limited and and you know that's why we're sort of focusing our uh, our development efforts on that population. Yeah, and tell me about what your what treatment it is that you're working on, and what stage is it of being actually being used by people who are affected by this? Sure. So uh, the program that we're working on is looking to address the inflammation that occurs in the muscles of these boys that that drives that uh, loss of muscle strength and function. And uh, today, the only treatment that's available for these boys to address this um, muscle inflammation are the uh, class of drugs called the corticosteroids. So these are very broad acting uh, therapeutics, which aren't particularly effective in the boys with Duchenne's. The other issue is, um, Jane, they come with some very serious side effects when used uh, constantly as they need to be in these in these boys. They cause um, osteoporosis, weight gain, they cause growth and mental retardation. So there's really a, a desperate need for a better way to address this muscle inflammation and slow that uh, muscle strength and function loss in, in the boys. And so our drug works in a very targeted fashion. It looks to uh, prevent the aberrant uh, movement of white blood cells from the blood into the tissue of these boys. So, you know, acting as an anti-inflammatory therapy, but doing it in a much more targeted and, and where we believe a much more effective way than these uh, corticosteroids. And most importantly, in, in a much more safer, uh, well-tolerated fashion. Okay, well, gosh, I hope that works for you because that sounds like a life-changing thing for people. So, and, and I was looking at your website, you're working with mRNA technology, which of course got a lot of attention uh, during the COVID vaccine. It was really, I think, one of the first times it's ever been used, at least uh, in widespread. So uh, tell me about your work with that and uh, what kind of treatments are you using the mRNA for? Sure, so uh, the antisense drugs that that we are working with are essentially uh, mRNA molecules. So these are oligonucleotides, much like the you know, vaccines that have been developed for, for COVID. Um, the sort of fundamental difference between the technology is, is that we're using our antisense molecules to switch off the production of disease-causing proteins, where the Whereas the mRNA that's been used by you know companies like Moderna um, are around looking at uh, boosting up 
the inflammatory um, the response in these patients to bring on a an immune response that would then prevent uh, an infection. So the technology is very similar. Interesting. And then just talk to me about genetic research and it seems like there's been an explosion of this in the past 25 years or so. I mean, how has that impacted your business and where does genetic research and how we understand all that, where does that stand right now? You know, that's uh, a good question, Jane. We're targeting our therapy initially at the boys that are more advanced with the Duchenne. So these boys have lost the ability to walk. Mm. So they become, you know, wheelchair bound. And what we're trying to do for those boys is to see if we can slow or stop the loss of the uh, upper limb strength and function in these boys, because that's the next lot of muscles to be impacted. And these muscles uh, are so important for the quality of life of the boys, because once they lose the ability to use their arms, shoulders, hands, you know, they, they can no longer do the most basic, you know, tasks, you know, in life, like feeding themselves, going to the bathroom. And once it's lost in these boys, Jane, unfortunately, it's lost forever. Well, definitely keep us up to date on that, because that is, as you mentioned, I mean, life changing. It's just, you know, absolutely important work. So and complicated. So, <laughs> so thank you so much, Mark, for coming and telling the story of the company and what all you're working on.